Hello everyone and welcome to Scientific Computing Tutorials in Python. In this tutorial we will explain how to easily generate LaTeX source code out of symbolic expressions in Python. Let us suppose that you have performed symbolic computations in Python and you have derived important expressions. For example, let us suppose that we have performed computations and that we derive this matrix. Now, we would like to type this matrix in Python. How to do that? Well, we can do that term by term by simply typing this term, then this term, and this term in LaTeX. That is by manually generating the source code that you can see over here. Obviously, it will take us at least 10 minutes to generate this code. However, there is one trick that can significantly speed up this process and that can save your time. Namely, we can directly generate the LaTeX source code out of symbolic expressions in Python. And in this tutorial, I will teach you how to do that. However, before we start, I need to mention the following. It took me a significant amount of time, energy, and planning to create this completely free video tutorial, as well as more than 400 free video tutorials that you can find on my YouTube channel. Consequently, I kindly ask you to press the like and subscribe buttons. Also, if you have a question or a comment about the material presented in this lecture, please feel free to ask your question or give a comment in the comment section below. Thanks a lot. Okay, let's start. Here is the plan. I will construct three rotational matrices that are functions of symbolic angles theta1, theta2, and theta3. First, I import all the functions and packages from SymPy library. SymPy is a very powerful library for performing symbolic computations in Python. Then I import NumPy, and then I call this function init printing for nicely printing the symbolic variables. Then I define three symbolic angles, theta1, theta2, and theta3. Here they are. Theta1, Theta2, and Theta3. Perfect. You can observe here that they are nicely written. This is mainly because of this function, init printing. Next, I will define three symbolic matrices. Here they are. To define these matrices, I use the matrix function. This is a function from the SymPy library. R theta 1 is a function of theta 1, R theta 2 is a function of theta 2, and R theta 3 is a function of theta 3. Let's see these matrices. Let's type R theta 1, and here it is. Here is R theta 2, and here is R theta 3. Perfect. Next. Let's learn how to generate the LaTeX source code of this matrix. To do that, we will be using this function print LaTeX. We call this function by specifying the name of the matrix, that is the name of the symbolic object. In our case, it's R theta 1. And let's see the LaTeX source code. Here it is. We will simply copy this LaTeX source code. We will go to our LaTeX file. Here it is. I will simply paste the source code and I will modify it. I will perform the following modification. I will erase this part over here and this part over here. Then over here I will type begin equation and I will end my equation environment. That is, at the end, I will type end equation. And over here, I will modify the matrix environment. I will not be using matrix, I will be using B matrix. And you can see that automatically, my latex editor modifies the end. Don't forget to modify the end. So it should be begin matrix and then B matrix. And let's see the output. And here it is. Here's our matrix. Over here, we can, of course, specify the name of the matrix. For example, let's call this matrix R of theta 1. 
And here it is. Let's add the equality sign such that we have a beautiful equation. That's it. Simple as that. So what's the procedure? You just specify the name of the symbolic object. Now, let me explain how to do a very complex expressions. For example, let's do this. This matrix M is actually the direction cosine matrix. Here it is. It has a very complex form. Let's generate the source code corresponding to this matrix. Again, print latex. And let's just specify the name of our direction cosine matrix. Here it is. Immediately you obtain the latex source code. Let's copy and paste this part. Go to our latex environment, our source code paste this part over here, erase left at the beginning, erase right over here, then make sure that we are actually using the equation environment, begin equation, and over here, end equation, and let's change over here the environment, B matrix over here, and over here we need to change the end to be B matrix. And let's compile this and let's see the result. Here it is. Let me expand this such as you can see it. Here it is. Perfect. If you do it manually, it will probably take you around 10 minutes to type everything and most likely you will create, you will make an error. Okay, that would be all for today. I hope that you like this video. If you like the videos I'm creating, please press the like and subscribe buttons. Thanks a lot and have a nice day.